Hey everybody, Rory from ANS Gear. We've got the TIPX pistol up on the table today with some accessories just to kind of show you what you get when you buy a TIPX. So if you're not familiar with what it is, the TIPX is Tipman's pistol uh, right now for paintball. So it is um, a seven ball magazine, comes with some extra magazines, uh, runs on a 12 gram CO2 cartridge. There's lots of accessories for it that lets you run airline into it. So if you don't wanna run CO2 cartridge, you can do all that fancy stuff right there. Um, comes with the case. We're gonna open it up and show you kind of what you're gonna get. So you got a hard case right there, Tim and branded case, pretty simple. Has some feet on it, so it will stand up if you need it to stand up. But most people are gonna just, you know, put it in their bag kind of like this. Snaps on the side, boop, open it up. And here we go. It is padded with foam. The foam can just come right out. So you can uh, pull the foam out and put your own foam in. You could customize this foam if you want to like make little cutouts, things like that. It's all possible with this. You got your manual. It looks like a real thick manual, but that's because it's actually in two different languages or maybe three different languages. Yeah, English, French, and Spanish. So really, we're just talking about this much. That's your manual right there. So read it through. Definitely. If you can pick one of these guns up, read your manual. Helps out a lot. In your little baggie, you're going to get a barrel blocking device. You're going to get a pull through squeegee. You're going to get some Allen keys and you're going to get a little bit of grease inside there. And there's a couple O-rings also floating around inside here um, to do basic service to the gun. Now this in no uh, way or means is a complete O-ring set for your gun. It just has a couple pieces in there should you have an issue. If not, they sell, you know, rebuild kits for the gun that you can buy. Uh, so you've got your gun, you've got one magazine, and then you've got the other one inside here. So it does come with two magazines. These are seven ball magazines. Pull the follower down and you can rotate it and it will, um, actually these ones don't need to rotate. They actually lock in place at the bottom. When you put this up into the gun, there's a little tab inside the gun that will push on this tab right here. If I can get my finger in there, which I can't because it's not long enough. It will release the follower and allow it to come up and push the balls up into the gun. But when you're loading this, the easiest way to do it is pull this down so that it locks. And then you can just doot, 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 push your balls in there. And it is seven, uh, seven balls. When you're ready and you're good to go, it will go in and then release that follower and start pushing those balls up into the gun. So you get two magazines like that. Now, here we go. So we've got a couple things on the outside of the gun here. We have our safety on and off with the safety there. You'll either be able to shoot or you won't be able to shoot. We've got our mag release button on the side. We have these windows that are cut out right here so that when the magazine is in the gun, you'll see the paintball or whatever thing you're shooting through these windows. And then you can take a glance at the side and look at it. If you see that, hey, two of the windows I can see through, one of them has a ball, then you know that you're getting real close to the end of your magazine. You got one or two shots left, time to reload or just be aware of that so you're ready to reload. Uh, down at the bottom, uh, we've got a little tab down here. A lot of people tie their barrel blocking device to that. Um, I've seen people run uh, single point bungees on that. So they have uh, this as a sidearm, like they can put it down into a holster. They do all sorts of weird stuff, but there's a little notch there to attach it to something if you want to. Uh, got a rail at the front right here. If we want to add uh, an under laser or an under flashlight, uh, anything to the bottom, standard Pictini style rail along the bottom. At the front, this is where our CO2 canister is going to go. So... Normal 12 gram CO2 cartridge. We're gonna put it in nozzle forward and that's gonna go in there. Now, not all CO2 cartridges are the same size. Obviously there's large discrepancies in sides. This is a 12 gram, there's eight gram, there's bigger ones, but all 12 grams are not the same exact length. They're gonna be roughly the same width, but lengthwise they will vary. And sometimes you get one that's a little short and you go in there and it won't puncture. So the end of the cap is adjustable. There's a little screw right here. 
and then there's a stopper screw here. So there's actually two screws inside there. One butts up against the other one to keep it from moving. So if you want to adjust this, you come in from this side, undo this screw and take it out, and then put the same Allen key down in there, and then you can adjust this screw once you make it a little bit longer or make it a little bit shorter. Then you take the other screw, put it back in, tighten it down, and that keeps this one from moving. So if you need to adjust it, that's how you would do it. Above that is your barrel. Right there. So this is uh, the same threads as the A5, but it is, uh, you wanna make sure you're picking a barrel up that is specific for the TIPX. Um, the same threading style. Now certain barrels won't fit because of the shroud size and things like that. So if you're picking up a barrel, an aftermarket barrel, just make sure you're buying one that is for the TIPX. And that means it'll fit through there. Yeah, let's put that back in. Now, when it comes to the um, CO2, the 12 gram here, I can put this in like this. I can put this on, turn it, and then turn it again because it needs to turn twice. And that does not gas my gun up right here. The uh, cartridge will not be punctured until I pull the trigger for the very first time. The first trigger pull when installing a new cartridge punctures the cartridge. It does not fire. So the first trigger pull will just puncture it and then gas will uh, be put into the system. The next trigger pull will actually fire after that. So first trigger pull doesn't do anything or sorry, first trigger pull punctures, second trigger pull will shoot. Now, if you're running a gas in line, you're able to pull this piece out right here. You can drill it out and you can buy an adapter that uh, sticks out the back and then you can hook a remote line up to it. Once that remote line is hooked up and gassed up, it will fire on the first shot. But you have to have an empty cartridge inside here. If you don't have anything in here, the gas that's coming in this way will go and go right out the front. So make sure if you run a gas through line at the back, you have an empty cartridge in the front to seal the front right there. All right, moving along towards the back. We also have a little indicator on the top right here. This will let you know if there's a ball in the breech right there. On the back side, we have our velocity adjustment right here. Put an Allen key in that and turn it um, to increase or decrease velocity. Construction is real good on these things. I've never really seen one of these, uh, these bodies break. I guess it's possible if you threw it off a cliff or something like that, but just for everyday play, no, you're not gonna break this thing. Uh, there are tons of accessories for these. There are um, ambidextrous mag releases, the gas through line like we talked about the uh, long distance kit that can you can put in so you can shoot first strike rounds out of it. Uh, there are accented color sets like these that we sell and can install for you. If you wanna change this piece and this piece into orange or blue, purple, red, silver, pink, gray, gold, green, or teal, we can do that too. So we do sell all the accent kits. Plus the accent piece is this one it is aluminum, so you could laser engrave it. We have a lot of people that buy a, a color kit. They'll buy like a red one and then they'll do one of their laser engravings on it or they'll put their name on it or they'll put a logo on it or something like that. That's super common uh, with the TIPX. All right, so we got that. They also sell another version of the TIPX, which we've got over here. We've got the deluxe TIPX kit right here. So this has all the same stuff that we saw on this one, except it comes with a holster, a drop leg holster. So on your thigh, it'll hang down. You'd loop it up around your belt, hang down, wrap it around your thigh. A holster for the TIPX. Plus it comes with three total magazines. So one in the gun, two extras, you get the same parts kit, same manual, but with the deluxe kit, you get the drop leg holster and then the extra magazine in the kit as well. And this one has the same gun. 
So you can still put all the other accessories in there if you wanted. You can do this or that. It's, it doesn't matter. It's all compatible with it. The gun doesn't change. It's just the stuff you get with it. So whether it be the individual gun or the deluxe kit, tons of options for it. Great uh, pistol to have as a sidearm or just go out and play with it by itself. They're awesome. TIPX pistols, deluxe kits, individual kits, available through the website. Lots of accessories for them. Order yours today at ansgear.com.